this video, we'll be showing the setup and operation of the Affinia 3D H440 3D printer. Here are the accessories. It's got a quick start guide, gloves, filament, filament hanger. We have uh, other tools. And then to get it out of the box, I open up both ends with the printer box on its side then push the printer through the box towards the bottom until the bottom edge of the printer matches up to the bottom edge of the flaps of the box then lift the box to an upright position and remove the box. This should be a two-person job. This box, the uh, printer is a bit heavy. Uh, so do as you're told, not as you see. Next, to remove the foam from beneath the platform, Lift with firm but even pressure on the platform to gain access to the foam. At this point we'll go ahead and uh, put the HEPA 7 air filtration filter in. So in this uh, filter, there's uh, arrows pointing for the airflow. So make sure those are pointing down as we will be pulling air through the fan. Replace the cover, make sure it's secured. Then remove the top and we'll be cutting the tie straps that secure the gantry system of the printer for shipping. There's going to be six straps. Make sure you remove all of them. And you can discard those straps. We won't be using them anymore. Next we'll be plugging in our power, our USB cable, and turning power on. And then we're going to install our uh, reversible, perforated, and flexible surface. Now the flex surface is a uh, uh, is a bit of a softer surface that really attracts materials. I've just initialized the printer. You'll have to do that every time you power up the printer. And then we'll do a calibrate. So this is going to automatically calibrate the levelness of our platform. There's a pressure sensitive switch inside of the extruder, uh, so the nozzle will actually touch nine uh, points on that platform. So make sure that there's no debris on the bottom of your uh, nozzle, as that will alter the values that are recorded. Now, this uh, calibration doesn't need to be done with every print. Uh, it can just be done uh, periodically uh, when uh, you might see some issues with either uh, filament not extruding onto the platform or the nozzle might be too close or uh, filament not sticking to the, to the platform or peeling up because the nozzle is too far. So uh, if you find any of those issues, go ahead and repeat the auto level process. Um, if after the auto level process it's still not uh, working properly, we have another video for doing the manual level process. Uh, you'll find uh, information on that below in, the, in, the, uh, in this YouTube video.
So that's finished. It's set a new nozzle height. Now we can go ahead and put our filament hanger on and load our filament. This is a PLA filament that I have here. And then we'll be using the snippers to cut a beveled edge. Uh, basically a point onto our filament. This will allow us to uh, e more easily access the hole for the filament tube in the system. Um, there's a little ridge inside of there that you can have some struggle sometimes trying to get the filament through. But if you cut that bevel, um, it should slide past there. Also, make sure that your filament is straight, uh, not bent or curved. And then we can just go ahead and put the filament into the filament hole of the extruder. And then we'll go ahead and extrude. This will start to warm up our extruder. And uh, once it reaches temperature for PLA, it's about 200 degrees Celsius, it will uh, engage the extruder motor to pull it through. I'm doing a speed it up process here. Just give it a little push. You'll feel a tug as it's pulling through. There you know that it's engaged. Now there's a lever on the top of the system here. Um, if you have filament that's slipping, you can engage that lever by pulling it up a little bit. Uh, and uh, it'll put pressure on the idler bearing onto the filament, onto the gear of the extruder. Um, but if you put too much pressure, you may actually choke off the extruder. Um, so I have found most times I don't even need that lever, but it's there if you need it. Once the extrusion is complete, and the nozzle is primed, you just pop off the filament. Here we can show you uh, how to select different filament through the touch screen. Now this, uh, there's some customized filament settings that we have here. That's done through the Affinia Studio software. Uh, information on uh, more detailed on the uh, details on the software is below in the description. And we could also set the um, the weight of the filament. Go to uh, affinia.com slash support to download the software. Install it. And now we're connected to the printer. You'll see that with the green check mark under printers. You may need to refresh if you're connecting via Wi-Fi to find it on the network. We've uh, imported an STL file, and then we can scale it, rotate it, make multiple copies, alter the uh, support material. Uh, more information about Affinia Studio operation uh, can be found below in the description with a link to another video. In this toolbox, uh, maintenance box, we can uh, set our nozzle size, um, preheat the platform, which I always recommend, select the material types, change the weight. A lot of that, which we were able to do in the material screen on the system itself. And then I always like to do this. This is the uh, calibration. After we did that auto calibrate, we want to make sure that all nine points here are below one. Um, and here we're, we're very good. If, if we're above one, then we know we have to manually level. Here we can set our layer thickness, the uh, density of our infill, the speed, and uh, whether we're going to print with a raft or support. And then if we extend out, we can change some of the support uh, features um, and selecting easy peel for peeling the raft and support material off of the object after it's printed. And we've done a preview which will here show us how much time it's going to take to print after slicing. And then uh, we can actually move the slices up and down so we can see actually how, we'll, how this will build. And then we can print.
and this will start sending the layers to the printer and begin the print once that's complete. So this is just a basic uh, introduction to the printer. Uh, if you have other questions, please go to the uh, manuals you can find on uh, finia.com slash support. Um, and, uh, or if you have any questions, you can also con contact our technical support uh, through our website. Thank you for your time and enjoy your printer.